Hi, I'm Jeremy Howard, and we're going to talk about flange face corrosion. Hello, my name is Jeremy Howard, Director of Advanced Ultrasonics here at Versa Integrity Group. Today I wanted to take a few minutes to highlight one of the inspection techniques we utilize within our group. In-service inspection of raised face flanges for the detection of corrosion. Throughout industry, there is a need to provide inspection of flange connections to identify and quantify possible areas of concern. Whether it's an HF Alki unit, an offshore production system that sees cyclic activity or a location that has environmental damage concerns, an inspection plan can be created to address the areas most concerning to you. Traditionally, non-destructive inspection methods for detection of corrosion in flange connections consisted of visual examination of the seal face by breaking the flange joints and inspecting while the system was out of service. The visual me method for inspecting flanges is time consuming and costly and can only be carried out during a service outage. Through advancements in computing power and ultrasonic technology, in-service inspections are much more reliable and provide more consistent results. Today, we will detail phase array techniques that can be utilized for the inspection of raised face, weld neck, flanges. We will explain how these techniques can be used to investigate corrosion damage at all critical areas of the flange and discuss the reliability of each technique. With reliability of detection and quantitative information, phased array techniques are considered an extremely valuable screening tool. We've taken our experience, the experience of other industry leaders, customer feedback to create a program that we feel is extremely valuable and can provide detailed information for in-service inspections. Versa has created a catalog of flange samples that vary in size, schedule, material, and rating to provide training and testing for our technicians on the varying degrees of damage mechanism we would expect to see during an in-service inspection. Our technicians are trained over a period of several days and tested on the techniques prior to performing any inspections for our customers. The first thing we would want to address are the critical areas involved for each inspection. A typical flange has three main areas of concern. The flange bore, the corner edge, and the flange face or ceiling face. The techniques listed have been tested and confirmed on flanges two inches and above. Additional sizes below two inches can be performed provided additional procedure qualifications are done. The techniques we will discuss are primarily for the inspection of raised face flanges, pressure class 150 pounds to 2500 pounds, Detection capability as low as 30 thousandths have been consistent throughout the testing process. Technique A. The first technique utilized requires scanning from the tapered area of the weld neck flange. Typical setup includes a low profile probe and wedge, a scanner and encoder, and a capable operator. Data is collected and analyzed in an unmerged format. Using the B-scan data, changes in the beam path allow the operator dis to distinguish areas of corrosion along the flange bore, corner edge, and the flange face. Length and width measurements can be analyzed using the B-scan data, while depth and or height measurements can be taken using the A-scan and S-scan data. Technique A allows the technician to achieve nearly 100% coverage in the main areas of interest. With a probability of detection above 90%, Technique A is considered the best method when accessibility is not an issue. Technique B. Technique B requires scanning from the bolting surface. Typical setup for this method includes small footprint probe and wedge combination to gain access between the bolts along the bolting face. The operator relies on A-scan and S-scan data to investigate the critical areas, usually from a fixed and known position, and uses known reflections to determine where corrosion is present. Due to the location of the bolt holes in relation to possible corrosion, 
it becomes difficult to gain 100% access to critical areas. The operator will have a difficult time measuring length and width, as well as quantifying the overall amount of corrosion when found. The probability of detection for this technique is between 30 and 77% respectively. Technique C. Technique C requires scanning from the outside diameter of the flange. Typical setup includes a probe with a zero degree wedge, specialized scanner cart, and a capable operator. Data is collected and analyzed in an unmerged format. Coverage is limited due to the bolt holes and limits the operator's ability to achieve 100% coverage. Corrosion can be analyzed using A-scan, B-scan, and C-scan data. However, this technique cannot give accurate information when measuring length and width when bolt hole areas interfere. Difficulty quantifying the amount of damage will be realized. The probability of detection for this method is between 51 and 84 percent respectively. Damage mechanisms and flanges can create integrity issues in service lines due to potential leaks and breaks in the systems. With the advancements in phased array technology, inspections can be carried out without the need for shutting down. The techniques discussed today can provide reliable detection and we can conclude race face flange connections can be inspected utilizing phased array technology. Utilizing the techniques effectively can gain valuable knowledge that will be useful to operators, planners, and engineers when maintaining integrity within their systems and will be a useful tool when planning upcoming outages. Thank you for watching this video.